Yes, well, the judgment was made in the family division of the High Court back in January. But Sheikh Mohammed, who is the ruler of Dubai and also the Prime Minister of the United Arab Emirates, um, his team fought to try to keep the, um, the details of the judgment uh, secret. But they, have, they, they lost that battle and the details have emerged today. And it is a rather extraordinary picture of uh, it almost out of, a, out of some sort of novel, uh, really. And it, it surrounds not only the, um, the, the situation with regards to the actual crux of the matter, which is the the, the battle for the wardship of two children between um, Sheikh Mohammed and his um, now ex-wife, Princess Haya, but also these allegations that came up as part of that in relation to two other of his children, um, Princess Latifa and Princess Shamsa. Now, Princess Latifa's story did get um, a lot of coverage a couple of years ago. Um, she attempted to escape Dubai. Um, she had the help of a former French spy, and he managed to get her um, across Oman into a um, into a yacht and out um, uh, towards the Indian coast, uh, where she was going to try to fly to America and claim asylum. Now that boat was stopped, and she was brought back to Dubai. And um, the judge said uh, in his ruling that he believed this was a, a, a rendition, effectively. And um, the sheikh did say that he saw it more of a as a rescue mission in the, um, the, the statements that he put forward. But, and, and then the second one is related to his older daughter, Princess Shamsa. Now, she was abducted off the streets of Cambridge back in 2000. Um, and again, the judge ruled that this was um, kidnap and being brought home. And both of those women remain in Dubai.